Alrighty. Response video to Russell Brand, as the title would suggest. In a fairly recent interview with the Young Turks, Russell was talking about how change can only come from outside the system, and he talks about the deconcentration of power structures, financial power structures. I think it was interesting. He said we have to implement change which prevents people from rising to the top of the pyramid because no pyramid exists. He was talking about wealth. Yeah. Okay, let me take on the role of the cynic in this video. For what purpose? You tell me. Right. Human beings. Human beings are selfish and can be very egotistical, as you well know, Russell. We seek out gratification, we love the hunt and the thrill of the kill. The man standing next to you is not your ally, as he may appear. He is looking to put one over on you. He is your competitor, like it or not. Underneath the thin skin of civilization, we are the same cruel and ruthless species which emerged in Africa a mere couple of hundred thousand years ago. Even if we are smart enough to deconcentrate power structures as they exist now in the early 21st century, even if we are able to spread the wealth and create a much fairer economic system or systems, even if we use our big old brains and our empathy to build more just and humanistic means of social living, the reality is that the beast still lurks just beneath the surface and the beast must find enemies to crush. He must climb higher than those around him. If humankind tears down the financial pyramid, so to speak, it won't take as long to erect a new one perhaps one even more distasteful than the last. Why would we do this? Simply because we are hierarchical beings and the will to power, the will to dominate, the will to crush and humiliate the enemy. This will is too strong quite frankly. You want a revolution to do away with the establishment, the status quo. Am I right in thinking that? You want to take the money out of politics, decentralize power. Change must come from outside the system, not within. Well, as you may well have noticed, revolutions have this tendency of getting hijacked by elites who conspire to take power and concentrate it, put it in the hands of the few at the expense of the many. This is how many 
brutal dictatorships have got going throughout history. Something bad being replaced by something considerably worse seems to be a recurring theme with human beings, does it not? Yeah. Maybe you think some sort of inward journey can bring a greater understanding of the self and greater empathy for fellow human beings. An inward journey can bring a wider bring a person to a wider, less restricted world view. But I ask, so what? So what? You can change perspective, you can perhaps radically change your reality tunnel. We all have our own reality tunnels, don't we? But you, just like me, just like the other seven billion plus people on this planet we can't change the fact that we are all selfish egotistical competitive individualistic prisoners of biology and prisoners of inherited social forms some things can be changed but some things cannot. Some things cannot be changed by high ideals or inward journeys or meditation or whatever. We can fantasize about a better tomorrow all we like. But in the end, I ask the question if human nature is the problem if man himself is the problem what is the solution here endeth the cynical speech I actually agree with many of the things that Russell says Russell Brand I like I like your channel Russell I subscribed, I did. It's a worthwhile thing that you do in here on YouTube, in my opinion. You have an enviable talent for public speaking. Yeah, not everyone is so good at making a connection with the audience, but you do that. You know, fair play to you. And if you want to respond to this response at any time in the future, no rush, whatever, then, yeah, I'd appreciate it, mate. Anyway, all the best to you and all the best to anyone watching this. Have a lovely day, folks, and I will see you next time.